Hi and uh, welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I will actually talk about the most uh, asked question about the grid view that how can I export my grid view to an Excel file. In this video tutorial I will start from scratch and I will show you how you can export your grid view to an Excel. So let's start with adding a new ASPX page, a web form. So we'll add that web form. Now the first thing we have to do is to create a grid view. So we will just create it using the HTML view, grid view ID, and we'll call it my grid view. Run at server. There you go. If you see in the design mode, you will see a blank grid view being created. The next step is to populate in the grid view with some data and then later we can export that data into the Excel file. So let's populate our grid view with some data. And I will be using SQL Server 2000 database with the table which is NotWind. NotWind table is installed by default when you install SQL Server 2000. So using system.data.sql-client let's make a very simple function which will simply populate the data. SQL connection, my connection. I will just type in the server name over here which is localhost and database is not wind. Trusted connection equal to true. I will be using SQL Data Adopter to fill the data in the data set. You can use any type of technique to fill your container. Select all from categories, where categories is actually a table in the NotWin database. Data set and then fill the data set. Finally Find the data set to the grid view. Now I want this function or this method to execute only the first time when you load the page and not on every page load. So I will simply do if it's postback, if it's not equal to postback, then bind the data. Okay? And when you run this application, so you can see the that your data grid or the, the your grid view is populated with some data. And here you go. We have a category ID, column, uh, category name, and the description. The next step for us is to make a simple button whose whole purpose is to export the grid view to Excel file export to Excel button let's call it button export to Excel okay and let's implement the on click event what we'll be doing is we will read the information or the data from the grid view and we will attach it to the response response stream and then when you click the button it will ask you to open the file from the current location or to save the file on your desktop or wherever you want to save it on your hard drive so let's do this first thing clear the response if there is anything out there which is still in the response just clear it then we have to attach the header so add the header content disposition and we will have an attachment so we will attach something to the header okay so let's say the file name let's say and this is called my excel file dot xls so we have attached the header now okay so the file will be exported as my file dot xls you can of course modify this name on the fly you can take the input from the user and just 
name I use it over here instead of a constant name next step what type of content we are exporting so we are exporting spawn dot content type is application xls meaning we are exporting a type of file which is excel file next we will use the string writer and since the namespace is not added so i will just press shift alt and f10 and add the namespace then i will add html text writer which will take as an argument of string writer next step is to export or to render our grid view on to the html text writer so we will type my grid view dot render control and html text writer now html text writer has everything response dot write and we can write the string writer dot to string and in the end response dot end okay this is it run this application let's compile this okay let's run this now when i click on the x port to excel it should give me an error okay let's see why it says control migrate view of type grid view must be placed in inside the server tag right so you go and the first thing you'll do you check that hey uh, this is a format server and uh, this ends over here and my grid view is inside here so what is the error i mean why am i getting the error right so you're getting the error because you need to implement one more method you need to override verify rendering in server form method and just make it blank meaning what does this method mean this means that your control can be rendered at runtime you can modify the rendering mechanism you can modify the rendering scheme at runtime and that is what you're doing you are rendering your grid view at runtime to this uh, HTML text writer okay so now if you run this application and if you click on export to Excel a window pops up with the as you can see the name of the file is my Excel file but XLS it's an Excel file Microsoft Excel worksheet it also shows you how many bytes it has which is 926 bytes you can save it or you can open it so I'll just open it open the file and you will see the data that is being displayed it's same as it was being displayed for the screen right so I hope you like this uh, video tutorial and uh, it's a very small tutorial okay and I hope you solve your problems by using this tutorial now some of the people were having problems although I just showed you how to export it but some of them were uh, other problems like verified rendering can only be called during something and something for that reason you can have validate request equal to false now what this does I don't recommend this doing but if that's the only reason I mean that's the only way that you can achieve the export to Excel you can use this I wasn't using this and as you see I was able to export the file to the Excel what validated request equal to false means is that all your requests will not be validated when they are sent back to the server after the post back as a result of the post back actually uh, this actually opens a little bit of hole a security hole but uh, I'm not really sure why most of the people were having actually different problems but I'm pretty sure that you will be able to export using the code that I type and uh, if you have any problem within good view fly or uh, email me and I'll be glad to help you I hope you like the video thank you very much